The third major sin in Islam is a zina in the hadith of Hajjatul Wada'a, the final or the farewell khutbah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, and he listed them like this in this order. The third one, he said, وَلَا تَزْنُوا And do not commit zina. Whether this zina, zina is adultery or fornication, meaning whether a zina is from a person that is married or whether it's from a person that is not married. Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he mentioned in his book Adda' wa Dawa' that al-Imam Ahmad rahimahullah said, لا أعلم بعد قتل النفس شيئاً أعظم من الزنا. He said, I do not know of any sin after killing an innocent soul that is worse than a zina, committing zina, fornication or adultery. Subhanallah. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لا يزني الزاني حين يزني وهو مؤمن. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when a person commits zina, at the time he commits zina, iman is removed from him. There is no iman in him at that time. Allahu Akbar. At the time he commits the action of zina. This is a, uh, this is a warning. This is heavy. For a person who fears Allah azza wa jal, for a person whose heart is alive, hearing these words, would send يعني, fee in his heart. When it comes to this deed of a zina, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِذَا زَنَ الْعَبْدُ خَرَجَ مِنْهُ الْإِيمَانِ فَكَانَ عَلَى رَأْسِهِ كَالظِّلَّةِ فَإِذَا أَقْلَعَ رَجَعَ إِلَيْهِ The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, that if a person was to commit zina, Al-Iman, Al-Iman comes out of him and it hovers above his head. What this means, Al-Ulama, Rahimahumullah, they said that uh, his Iman becomes incomplete. His Iman becomes incomplete. It decreases. And the complete Iman and the light of Iman comes out from him and it hovers above his head. As though a cloud, فَإِذَا أَقْلَعْ When he stops this action of a zina, Iman comes to him once again. This is severe. Imagine a person died in the moment of a zina. Allahu Akbar. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, ثَلَاثَةٌ لَا يُكَلِّمُهُمُ اللَّهِ وَلَا يُزَكِّيهِمْ وَلَا يَنْظُرُ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Three people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak to them. He will not purify them on the day of judgment. And he will not look at them. And he will punish them a severe punishment. And he mentioned from them, Shaykhun Zanin, an old man that commits zina. A person that commits zina. Allah will not look at him on the day of judgment. Allah will not speak to him. Can you understand the severity of the punishment? This is why it is the third of the worst major sins in Islam, as zina. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Arba'un yubghibuhum Allah, four types of people that Allah hates. Allahu Akbar, you know when you hear this word that Allah hates, run away. Run away from the people that are mentioned in this hadith. Keep away from these deeds altogether. These are people that Allah hates. And he mentioned from among them, Al-Shaykh Zani, the old man who commits zina. A person who commits zina. And it's even worse from an old man. Because an old man, the age, if he's 50, 60, 70 years old, still committing zina. A person in that age is supposed to be preparing for the afterlife. Supposed to be preparing for the meeting with Allah Azza wa Rather, he's busy in committing a zina. Such a person is hated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Was zina, committing zina, adultery and fornication. It's considered, as we said, the third of the worst of the major sins. Because of its impact 
on a person and on society. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he says that if a woman commits zina, it brings shame to the family. It brings shame to her husband if she was buried. It brings shame to her relatives. Now, if this woman committed zina and she fell pregnant from zina and then she ends up aborting this child that would be considered murder, she would have now committed two of the worst major sins, zina and then murder by aborting this child, especially if this fetus in her, this baby in her has lived after four months. If he's four months plus, this would be considered murder. So now she has committed two of the worst major sins a zina and murder. And killing a child is the worst possible killing ever because this is the most innocent soul. And then the second worst type of killing would be a person killing his parents because the parents were a reason for your upbringing in this worldly life. And Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he said that when the man commits zina, then he also brings shame to his family. He destroys an entire household. And if he did commit a zina with a woman that is married, he destroys her household. And he causes ikhtilatul ansab. He causes confusion of lineage. Meaning now he becomes a cause for losing the lineage of these children. Who is their father? Who's the father now? Um, everything is confusing now. Subhanallah. And, and what happens as a result of this? We don't know who's the actual father. So now we don't know who inherits. What about, you know, when marriage comes? What about if one married and it was actually his sister, but he didn't know that this was the father and just so much confusion occurs. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah goes on to say that the one who commits zina it causes the heart to be sick and diseased. It brings worry and sadness and depression. It brings fear upon the heart. It brings the devil closer to that person. And the angels leave this person far away. Allahu Akbar. This is the consequence of a zina. This is why it is considered the third major sin in Islam. And notice that all these sins I've mentioned, they have a punishment in this life according to a Sharia law. According to Sharia law. Subhanallah. So we need to be careful. This is why they're considered the greatest. And this is alongside the ahadith in when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cursed such people and mentioned the state of their iman. Allahu Akbar.